The first ever cat cafe opened in Taiwan in 1998 and the concept quickly took off all around the world. Aotearoa took a little while to catch on, but in 2015 the Cat Lounge opened on Auckland's North Shore. Kare e kore e pao no koto kanohi. No doubt you're probably thinking, what? We've got a daycare for dogs and now we've got a cafe for cats. Yaha ke ia tenei hanga. Hmm, yes, well, actually, this is a cafe for humans. Just happens to be a whole lot of moggies that live here. Anei ke, kei mua te farikai. You see, out the front is a regular cafe, a menu of yummy treats and great coffee. Customers craving some cat companionship can pay a little bit extra to enter the cat lounge area. He haumaru, he noho wehe. It's all healthy and safe through a double door to make sure the cafe area is kept cat free and hygienic at all times. Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. What can I, I please have a coffee? Sure. Anything else? Uh, Want to the oh, I'd like to see the cats, yes, please. Sure. It's ten dollars per adult or eight dollars per child. Okay. There we go. Awesome. And I'll just let you through. Thank the you look like you were the good Kia ora, Kia ora. Pehe o he tino pai tenei wahi. Ko tino ngeru? Ko tenei ngeru, ko tona ingoa, ko whiskers. Ka te moi i tenei wahi. Pai rawatsu tenei wahi ne. Ai. He tino... No Mike Jones, te tangata nona tēnei farikai. The Cat Cafe is the brainchild of co-owner Mike Jones. So Mike, kia tēnei mea te farikai mō ngā ngeru. What is this Cat Cafe? The short version is that it's somewhere where people can come along, grab a coffee and a bite to eat, and spend time with our 20 rescue cats that we've got here. Where did this all, the, the thought come from? So a few years ago I had some friends travelling through Japan and they sent me photos of, um, he was actually doing some work on his laptop at a cat cafe with cats climbing over his head and on his laptop and there was about 18 cats. I thought, this is madness, but it was, it was a very cool concept. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't know how to run a cafe if my life depended on it, but I have a very good friend who is a chef and has run cafes and things before, so I managed to twist her arm into coming and helping me out. So that's Vicky. Vicky takes care of all the cafe part? Yes. She looks after all the food and coffee and arranging stuff and all that sort of stuff. And this side of the building with the cats and vet checks and all that sort of thing, that's my domain. So in terms of the cats then, where do they come from? They've come through a rescue organisation called Lonely Meow. People call them up and say, hey look, there's a litter of kittens in the bush in the back of my house or found in the middle of the road and that sort of thing. And they will go and pick them up, nurse them back to health, organise all the vet checks and things they need, and then try and find homes for them. One of the walls we've got in the cafe here has cats that are up for adoption. So what we try and do for them is advertise some of the older cats they've got, because everyone loves kittens, but once they get past a certain size, they get a bit harder to try and rehome. Are the cats here 24-7? Yes. Yep, this is their home and this is where they live. So they've got the run of the place after hours when we um, lock the place up at night. No rea, mai kouai tēnā ki tō taha. So who have you got? All right, this girl's name is Jazz, and she's actually one of four brothers and sisters that we've got here. And Jazz was dumped on Pakaranga Highway in a cardboard box at six weeks old with her four brothers and sisters and mum. And, and so it was lucky that Lonely Meow picked them up when they did, nursed them all back to health and tried to find homes for them. Ali Mae, pēhe o whakaaro mō tēnei wahi, what are your thoughts about this place? I think it's really cool how there's like all these cats everywhere. So this guy here, Maraitai, tōne ingoa. He's grumpy apparently. But he's had a bit of a history, isn't he? This yeah. Guy? His eye, I think they had to take it out because of this. Um, when he was born, I think there was something wrong with it. But how cool is that, that here we've got cats that are all good? Yeah. And then we've got this guy here. Yeah. As well. <laughs> He's quite happy. So if you love cats but you can't commit to them full time, <laughs> then you come to this place and you can get your caffeine and your cat fix at the same time. <laughs>